contact section is a little bigger, has a few more options than most of the categories do. So we'll tackle this head on here. So we have, I believe, six different contact areas here. And most of them are pretty basic. Some of them have a little interesting things to them, like this guy here is a little interesting. This one for sure is overlapping the map module. Um, and then these guys are pretty basic. So let's take a look and see what kind of CSS we're dealing with here. Um, so I made some padding adjustments for the fields. And uh, before they were, let's see here. This fly. Oh, I made them for the uh, CAPTCHA. That's what I did. Because before without them, they were really small. Or they were too big. They were taller than the button. And that was bugging me, so I made them the same height as the button. So if you have any issues with that, you might just want to get rid of that uh, that code. Or set it to the default, set it to the 20 pixels instead of 1320 and 12. And uh, one, two contact forms, no big deal. This guy, the only custom we're doing is we're doing box shadow on the first column. And that's this box shadow that you see here on that guy. Number four it starts to get a little trickier. This is actually where we're, we have a SY contact for content. So let's see what that is. Find out what the dot content is. It's this row, and we're telling this row to have a margin top of negative 100, which is doing this. And then we're telling the, I'm sorry, let me see here. We're telling the, the section, here we go, the section for dot content to have the margin top negative 100. And then we're telling the row to just move self, it's the position of it top to 150. And so you can see what that's going to do there and then how this responds to the negative 100. So that's where you, that's where you'd mess with those guys. And down on tablet, we're changing those values to 50 and 100. So if I go down to tablet here, it's going to drop down a little bit, like so, and have you know this space up here. It's not a little less space than what it had earlier on desktop and desktop. Well, or to keep that same space, I should say. We try to be consistent. And that's it for the contact form. Everything else is done in the front end builder. Awesome.